To play Moonlight Sonata, start by holding an A minor chord, 1st fret of the B string, 2nd fret of G, 2nd fret of D. Now when you're holding your A minor chord, we're going to start by plucking the A string and the D string together, and then we're going to use the index finger and the middle finger to hit the G and the B strings. That's the finger combination I like to use, thumb and index to pluck, then index, middle, thumb, index, middle, thumb, index, middle. Although you could go thumb and index, then middle, ring, like that. So we play this four times like this. And now our pinky goes onto the third fret of the E string here to hold down this G note. Now when you got that, now the thumb is going to pluck the E string while the index finger plucks the D string. Another four times like that. Now we're switching into an F major shape. I use my thumb on the first fret of the E string, index on the first fret of B, middle on the second fret of G, ring on the third fret of D. That's not proper classical technique though, usually you'd want to use a bar chord, but I just prefer to go like this. So you can use either an F bar chord or an F thumb shape. I just use the F thumb shape for ease. Now again, thumb plucks the E string, and index plucks the D string. We play this twice. After two of those now, we're going to switch chords. Ring finger goes to the fifth fret of the A string, a D note. An index finger flattens on the third frets of D, G, and B, like so. Thumb plucks the A string, index plucks the D string, like that. So far now we have A minor, pinky goes to the third fret of the E string for a G over A minor, then an F shape, I use the thumb for that but you can do a bar chord instead, then fifth fret of the A string, third frets of D, G, and B. And now we're going to go to the second fret of D, first fret of G, third fret of B. Thumb is going to pluck an open E string with that. Just play it once like that. After that, we go into an A minor shape. So the pinky comes off, ring finger goes to the second fret of G. Index goes to the first fret of B. Just going to play that once, starting at the D string here. Now the index finger is going to come off, and we're going to pluck the open E string and the second fret of the D string, like so. And now the index finger goes to the first fret of the G string and we just pluck from the D string down. So that transition looks like this. Now we're going back into an A minor chord. Thumb is going to pluck the open A string, middle finger is going to pluck the G string, then index goes to D, middle goes back to G, like this. Now we're going to use thumb, index, middle, thumb, index, middle to play D, G, and B. So when we get back into that A minor chord after the transition, it goes like this. And now, thumb is going to pluck the D string, middle finger is going to hit the high E string. And then we're going to come back and hit the high E again, so it's like this. And now we're going to hit the low E string and the high E string at the same time. So that part's like this. So 
after we pluck those two E strings, we're going to change chords. The ring finger is going to go to the 4th fret on G, middle finger is going to go to 3rd fret on B, index is going to go to 2nd fret on the D. This chord gets played like this. So what happens there is the two E strings get plucked, we hit the G string, the B string, and then the thumb goes to D. The third time around we pluck the D and E strings together, and then the middle hits the E string again, and now we're going to hit the A string and the open E string together, and go back into an A minor chord. So we move from an A minor chord into this E7 chord, back into this A minor chord. So it looks like this from the finger picking perspective. And now we're going to go to the first fret on the E string, pluck that with an open D string. Middle finger is going to go to 2nd fret of G, ring to 3rd fret of B, so it's like this. And then middle goes to 3rd fret of D, index goes to 2nd fret of G. And we pluck D, G, B. So that part goes like this. After this, the ring finger goes to the 3rd fret on E, middle goes to 2nd fret on D, index goes to 1st fret on the B string. Now we want to have the thumb plucking the E string, index finger plucking D, and middle or ring finger plucking the high E string. Index then goes to G, middle to B. Followed by the thumb hitting D, G then B. So that part sounds like this. Now the ring finger goes to the third fret of the B string, middle finger goes to the third fret of the D string. We pluck these two together. Then we play this open G and then an open B ring finger now goes to the 3rd fret of the high E string and we pluck that with the 3rd fret of the D string together now followed by an open G and B strings so it looks like this Now we switch into a C major chord, 3rd fret of the A string, 2nd fret of the D string, 1st fret of the B string. This gets played four times. 